Hey, 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 everybody. Welcome back to Never Alone Homestead. My name is Cami, and welcome back to my homestead. Well, guys, it is seed starting time. It is time to get the seeds into the ground, time to get the potatoes into the ground. It's time to get your trays ready, get your plants growing so that you can get them in the ground for the spring gardening. So, guys, today I am going to be planting some flower seeds. Now, I've already put some seeds into a tray for my garden. And now today, I want to do something differently this year. And I want to put some seeds into a tray so that I can take my plants and put them anywhere I want to and also thin them out so they will grow uh, healthy and also the roots will not be root bound. Now, the seeds that I'm going to be using is, I got petunias and xena, and I also had marigold. Now these three varieties are so easy to grow. It's unbelievable. Usually I'll take um, my seeds and just get a container outside, put some potting soil in it, and sprinkle it around, put a little uh, sprinkle, sprinkle it in there, put a little bit of uh, potting soil on top of it, water it, watch it, make sure it doesn't dry out, and they usually just take off. With these three varieties, also you can save the seeds. Uh, the petunia seeds are really, really tiny, so you kind of got to watch the plant so you can catch the seeds. But the, uh, the Xena, you can, when they die, the little bulbs or uh, flowers die, then you can take the seeds and store them. Actually, I have some here from last year's plants. And then the marigolds, they are the same way. You can see that the, each little uh, flower will Draw, die and dry and you just pick it off and just you know put it somewhere for a couple of days make sure it is dry and you can store it up for your next year's planting so I'm going to take this potting mix here now when you put them in trays you want to make sure that you're using a potting mix because if you're using like potting soil that has sticks and stuff into it you know a lot of uh, little small little sticks uh, wood is it can hinder your plants from growing with the potting mix here, it's very fine. It has perlite, I believe it's called perlite in it, little round balls that holds the moisture. Now, if you don't have that, you just have potting soil, what you got to do is just make sure you go through it and try to get all the little sticks out, all the big pieces out, and make it as fine as you can because you want it to be, you want it to be fine so that these little tiny seeds don't have a problem pushing it way up. And also, it will you know, so the moisture will get to these seeds. Now with this uh, tray here, I got from Haas Tools. I love these trays. I've got five of them and they are from Haas Tools and they're so durable. They have 162 cells into them. And another thing is, is that at the bottom, the way they are shaped, the roots were, are not going to get root bound. They're all twisted up. They're going to be looking for that water. So they're just, the seed's going to grow, the root's going to grow, and it's going to be looking for that water and expand out to where that water's at. Now, another thing you could do once you put your potting mix in here, in the bottom, just that little bit, it comes through the bottom. And you can take, and if you don't want to be wasteful, take and just, you know, lift your tray up gently and take and get your potting mix out of the bottom of it. So, when we plant these seeds, I just want to sprinkle it in here. Now, some people like to go ahead and moisten their potting mix. Now, I don't because I have these trays right here. And with this tray, once I put my seeds in there, I'm going to put the water in there. And that potting mix is just going to absorb. It's going to absorb this water up and it's going to wet these seeds. And the germination is just remar remarkable. So, you're just going to fill each cell up. And because this is fine, you might want to do this outside, but if you're, you know, if you're careful, you can do it inside. I did my last tray inside because the weather outside is wet and cold and dreary. And I just want to go ahead and get my seeds in. pour it over there and you know get it to the edges and just sweep it in those little cones
I like to pat mine down just a little bit. See any little sticks in there, just go ahead and get them out because sometimes they do get in there. There's one right there, the big stick, piece of wood. There's another one. So it's not perfect, almost. And some over here. This kind is burby. It's organic. And it actually looks the same except the perlin, perlite, I think it's perlite. It uh is it seems to be chopped up finer. So you're going to cover all, you know, continue on covering up all your cells. Down at the bottom, there is that potty mix. lot. I'm going to gently, it would help to have two people helping you do this. Oops. That's a lot. That is, that's a lot down in there. Probably filled up at least maybe 10 or 12 more cells. So then what you're going to do is that with no matter what kind of seed you got, you know, you can take a pencil and just, you can take a pencil or a pen and you just make little holes into your cell. Another way of doing that is, you know, you just gently sprinkle your seeds in there or seed, a couple seeds and then put some of this potting mix on top of it. Today, I'm going to take and take this pan and just make little indentions. There's another stick. And so today, It is seed starting time. So just get the seeds out and pour them in your hand. And in this little packet that actually came from the Dollar Tree, four for a dollar, it comes with a lot, a lot of seeds. Mary Tholes produce a lot. So we got a lot of seeds here, just a lot. And I'm just gonna sprinkle just a few in there. In actuality, you know, you could probably, you can put one seed in every, you know, one seed in every little indention that you make. And it'll be enough. But I'm just going to sprinkle these in here. What I do with my pen. And I can use my pen to help put them in a in a hole in that little dimension I made. So 
Some of them I have about five, and then some of them I just have one. So you just have to experiment. But when they come up, you know, if you want, don't want them to get root bound, you know, you're going to pull out the ones you don't want and grow you some good flowers. So this is more than enough marigolds for me. With these marigolds, the seeds are a lot bigger. So having this pan and helping them get in that hole is great. You don't have to get them exactly in that hole because you know your seeds are going to probably be about one fourth, one eighth inch up under. So marigolds just pretty much need uh, just the you know just a covering up. Now the rest of the seeds, I'll just do the very same thing into the cell. And you can take and sprinkle you some over it. Or continue on with your pen. I just lost my pen. Here it goes. I slid up under there. And just take your pan and just gently move that potty mix around to cover those seeds up. And that's pretty much it. Then I'm going to put my water in here and the water will be absorbed and these will start to germinate. Now the potting uh, soil, potting mix that I'm using, it does have, like you said, the miracle breath. It does have the fertilizer into it. So it gives it a good jump. Here in the background, you'll see that I also have purchased some other things. So as my flowers and my seeds, uh, garden seeds are growing, then I want to make sure they get a, the right amount of fertilizer and the right fertilizer. So here I have uh, some Power Pack 2020, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> water salutable fertilizer. Got something in my throat. All right, potty mix. So, Dr. Earth's uh, Flower Girl Organic and Natural Bud and Bloom Booster. So this is uh, actually this is four pounds. So this is going to go. This is really going to go a long way. And since this is water, this 2020-20 is water uh, salutable. Yeah, fertilizer. You know, it's good, even though it looks like a little pack, it's going to go a long way. I also have the plant food, vegetable, and for vegetables and herbs by Miracle Grow. I also have the all purpose plant food, uh, a big box. So that's going to go a long ways. Now, if you don't have, you know, a tray like this, a tray that, uh, you know, your seed starting tray that doesn't have a tray at the bottom of it, you, what you could do is take one of these right here, fill it with water. And just spray the top of your seed. Just get this that potting mix really moist. Um, here is a seed starting tray that I purchased at Lowe's last year. It's by Fairy Moore Morse. It's a Pro Hex. It has 72 cells. And then to this package here, it has the 72 cells. It has the tray. And then it also has the cover to help keep your soil moisture, moisten. But, you know, I noticed that with, with doing it the way I'm doing it, I haven't had any problem as long as I keep the water in here to seeds and get germinated and get started. So if you don't have, say if you just have a cell here and a, a certain type of cell, but you don't have a bottom to it, I've done this plenty of times and I've taken a aluminum foil, pull me a piece off, take me some saran wrap. Because we're talking about budgeting, you know, we've got to save money, especially these uncertain times that we're in. This is, I, I double it because I don't want the water to go anywhere. It just helps, it helps, it just gives me double security, I guess. But this is the way I do it. 
And then around my tray, I'll just fold it up. It'll hold that water in there. And there is your bottom tray. And it works. Then when you're done with it, you just throw it away. So another thing you might consider for your garden is to have your soil tested. You can go to Amazon and get a pH tester, probably about nine bucks, really cheap, and you can test your soil. So guys, I'm going to get back to planting these. Now, how am I going to know that what is what? What is marigolds? What is xena? What is what is uh, petunias? Well, I've already on a sticky note here made a note, put the name on it, and so I know that I've planted marigolds right here, and so I'm just going to stick it on my tray so that I will know when it come up. As the plants are growing, you could just look at the plants and tell. So guys, I thank you so much for watching. I hope that you got some valuable information into this video. Once again, if you're interested into these trays, I've, I've accidentally dropped one of them and uh, it didn't break anything. It was I was doing a video and I accidentally dropped it and so it didn't crack or anything. It's just, you know, I, I just love it. The thing I love about it is that I do not have to purchase these for the rest of my life. I'm good. With these right here, they will get you through a season. You, if you're careful with them, you might be able to get through a, another season. I have. But, um, yeah, you know, you drop this and uh, you probably mess up the bottom of them. But they're good. I've used them. You know, this is it's 72 cells. This is the way to get started. I think this is probably like six bucks, something like that, at Lowe's. So if you're interested in these trays right here, these durable trays for your lifetime, you can go to hosttools, H O S S dot com, and you can place an order. I believe you can order just two of them or, or order five. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Give me a thumbs up and remember to make it a great day. God bless you and get the planting.